I, I always wanted to do that. Every time I watch those Dana Live videos, it's like, bro, y'all really set the camera up just to act like y'all wake up and stuff like that. That was pretty funny. That was just always something I wanted to do. But what's up, YouTube? It's TJ here, aka Lil Dude from Across the Street. And in today's video, this is a get to know me type of video. I'm just gonna be answering some questions so y'all can get to know me other than gaming and a little bit of the artwork and things that I do. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Hit that like button on this video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to ask some more questions that I may not ask and answer in this one, um, just go ahead and hit me up in the comments. Also got like two websites up. I'm just going down the list. So if you see me reading off my phone, I'm obviously reading the questions. And the first question is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. My car is red. My chair is red. Oh yeah, I'm also not sitting in my chair because somebody wants to sleep in it and I'm not gonna bother her today but red is my favorite color I wanted to get the red Polaroid but they didn't have the color at the time my controller my Xbox controller is partially red I just took the pieces off and just put it on the controller you know I just you know I had to get a little bit of red in there all right let me just skip through and see what else do you have any regrets um regret that I had that I have right now is regretting the fact that I tried to go to SCAD. Not try to go to SCAD, but like went to Technical College, got my credits to transfer to SCAD. I got accepted, but they were just too expensive. They wanted like 15K for one semester. And you know, that was something known before, but this is when COVID first started. So I'm expecting to pay like at least half for that, but nope, they wanted full price. Full tuition for half the stuff I'm getting. So I was like, uh. And it's like now I'm just trying to study abroad with Japan. So if I knew that I wanted to go to Japan earlier, I felt like that would have helped me financially a lot better. And just with uh, where, I'm, where I'm at in life right now. But um, timing is everything. I feel like something's going to come up in, in my favor. How many cousins do you have? What is your favorite book? Um, I don't really have a favorite book. Honestly, I have a series of books, mainly manga. But um, as far as books... I would probably say right now at the moment I'm currently reading uh, Jeanette McCurry's book they finally got it in Target so um, yeah I was able to cop that when I first saw it not first saw it but like last week or the week before I think it was when the book first dropped it was sold out everywhere like you couldn't find it anywhere I was checking online for it it was out for like months until I just happened to walk by the book island Target and they had it and I was like I'm copying this right now next one is what is your favorite food pizza 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 and i would probably say chinese food well not like chinese chinese food i haven't had actual chinese food but american chinese food american chinese food is literally like the chinese food you get around the corner something like that from a store here chinese food like actual chinese food is stuff you probably pay top dollar for here but would be very cheap and normal over there in china so you know are you a quiet person um Sort of, but I'm mainly a quiet person whenever I'm around people I don't know or am not comfortable around. But other than that, I'm a talkable person, so you're probably going to get annoyed with me within the first 30 seconds of me getting comfortable with you. Yeah, I'm annoying, but like, you'll love me, though. Would you rather live in the city or the country? Country. Um, I, I would rather live in the country. I'm, I like it down here in the south. Certain parts of the south have that little bit of city feeling to it, but in the southern way, so I'm comfortable with that. I don't like the city at all. Everything's all cramped up and spacious. Anytime we be driving down the streets, I'm like, bro, y'all don't have no garages. And if they do have a garage, it's like their car not sitting in the garage. Cause you know, it just it's just too much everything being bundled up. That's what I don't like about the city. And the country is more space. And at the same time, you get a lot of value for the space that you have. Whenever you buy land or whatever or a house, you have a lot of value in that. We go to Philadelphia every year and I'm ready to go home the moment I step foot outside my house. Like the moment I step outside my house to go to Philadelphia, I'm just like, I want to go home and I'm home about to leave. You know, like that's that's how much I don't like the city. Now, someplace like Indianapolis, I can do that because Indianapolis, yes, it has some busy parts to it, but it's also spacious. So I'll probably say that's the city. That's probably the closest to a city I want to be in is someplace like Indianapolis. What is your morning routine? My morning routine is to wake up, pray, check my phone, brush my teeth, then eat. I mean, not eat. I'm sorry. Eat, then brush my teeth. Or if I don't eat breakfast at all, just brush my teeth and start whatever I got to do. What's your favorite pizza topping? My favorite pizza topping is pepperoni 100% all the way. Place that number two would be pineapples and ham or just pineapples in general. Some people don't like pineapples on pizza. I'm like, bro, it's not really bad. Just as long as it's not like a juicy, juicy, juicy slob of pineapples, then you good, honestly. Who is your celebrity crush? 
I'm going to say you already know. My girl Rhea Ripley, you know what I'm saying? Um, Rhea Ripley, Ice Spice, uh, Nikita Lyons. This is really like the top three on the top of my head. Now, I would simp over Sasha Banks and uh, Bianca Belair, but they're both married. So, I try not to simp over females that are married. You know, that's just that's just kind of awkward to me. Because, especially with me being a fan of uh, the Street Profits, Montez is married to Bianca. So, like, it'll be weird for me to be just simp over her on camera. I mean, even just in general. That's just weird to me. Oh, number four, uh, Pink Panthers. Is Pink Panthers, whatever her name is. I still don't know how to say her name, but I've been listening to her music for, like, a good year or two. Who is your favorite artist? Ooh, I don't have one specific artist, so I'm gonna keep it buck. But I know off the top of my head is Aaliyah. Aaliyah, that's it. Just baby girl. Aaliyah. She is one of the best R&B singers of all time, and she's my favorite. But um, other than her, honestly, the whole group that she was um, not affiliated with, but just really cool with, uh, the Super Friends, Timbaland, uh, Player, Genuine, Missy Elliott, Magoo, um, all those, all that talent. And um, other than them, uh, Jodeci, you know, I'm a Devontae Swing fan when it comes to his production as well. So it's just, those are really my top right now at the top of my head. Those are like my favorite artists. And it's also this guy that makes beats. I mentioned him before, but his name is Matro. Um, Matro. I hope I'm saying it right. I still don't know if I'm saying his name right or wrong. And my favorite projects by him, I would probably say would have to be Touch the Sky, Dragon Ball Wave 3, and uh, Guilty Pleasure. Those are my top three projects from him. The next question. Would you ever start your own business? Oh, most definitely would. I actually did. But I had to put it on pause and I'm going to get back to it whenever I can and whenever I have the time to get back into it. But the shirts that I wear, P.O.N., that is my brand. And uh, I'm honestly going to um, go get it licensed and everything so I can also make some money off it as well. All right, I'm going to go to this other website that has like, I think I think it says 104 questions or something like that. Oh, 80 plus questions, my fault. Who is your favorite sports team? Okay, when it comes to sports, NFL, I am a Patriots fan. I know we saw we don't have Tom Brady, but it is what it is. I'm still a Patriots fan. And it's also kind of funny because I don't see anybody else coming to Patriots now. Hint, hint. Just bandwagons. With the NBA, I'm a Lakers fan. MLB, I don't watch baseball, but because I've been to Philadelphia a lot, I always just claim the Phillies as my team. I don't really watch hawker, hawker, <laughs> hockey, you know, soccer, things like that. I don't, I don't really watch those sports. Would I watch it? Maybe, maybe. But for me to go out my way and be like, oh, I'm gonna watch some soccer or some hockey or even baseball, it's like, nah, I'd rather not. What is your favorite clothing brand? Ooh, my favorite clothing brand? Off the top of my head would be Pink Dolphin, Hypeland. Who else? Who else? Who else? Yeah, Pink Dolphin, Hypeland. I feel like Nike is at the point where you don't have to say they're a favorite because they're just literally everywhere. So apart from the mega mainstream companies like Nike, you know, certain stuff for Fila and like a few Adidas items. Yeah, you, you can count those. But the ones that aren't mainstream but are popular to me, Hypeland, Pink Dolphin, Rip and Dip, and uh, H&M as well. H&M everywhere. Everywhere there's an H&M, I get at least something. I don't care if it's a pair of socks. I have to get my H&M everywhere I go there. Do you have any allergies? Well, that's a funny question to ask right now. Out here in the South, it is snowing with pollen. Like, it's like the pollen is not just in the air. It is snowing pollen down here. It is that bad. I'm trying to tell you. Look at this picture. This is all the pollen that's on the beach. I honestly never seen that much on the picture in general. It's so strong this year. It's, it's snowing like pollen. We don't get snow down here. We get pollen snow. That's how bad it is. What theme parks have you been to? Um, the theme parks I've been to is Carowinds. I've been to Carowinds, I think, three times. Carowinds is in Concord, Concord, North Carolina. I'm not too sure what exact part of uh, North Carolina Carowinds is in, but that's the one that I've been to like three, four times. The ones I would love to go to is uh, Super Nintendo World out there in LA, and they also got one in Japan. It was in Japan, and then it came to LA. But I would like to go to the one in Japan because with me trying to travel the world and of course travel to Japan, I want to experience it, you know, in Japan. But I mean, if I can do it in LA, I can do that. I'll, I'll be fine with that. And also, I want to go to Disneyland, Disney World, whichever one is in Florida. I don't know which one is which and I don't know the difference. I just know they both got Disney on it. One is Disney World and one is Disneyland. So whichever one is down in Florida, that's the one I want to visit. And I heard about Six Flags, like, but Six Flags, I don't know. I hear bad stuff about Six Flags, so I um, nah. Knock that out the way. Do you have any pets? I have two little furry demons. Uh, matter of fact, one of them is once again sitting in my chair, hogging up my seat as if she owns it and paid for it and pays the bills in this house. But it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I got two little furry demons. Trixie is the mama and Onyx is the daughter. 
they are some of the most aggravating cats on this earth, but I still deal with them every day and I love them. But this is a good one. What was your first job? Should I say it on here? No, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. My first job I worked at was uh, Chick-fil-A. I got some stories about Chick-fil-A, honestly. That'll be something y'all have to get to, like, give me, like, 1K, two, 1 to 2, 3K subscribers. And I'll do a Chick-fil-A, my experience at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> How did you rate your childhood on a scale of 1 to 10? Ooh, I was born in like the late 1900s. So, um, yeah, I'm a 2000s kid. I was born in 99, but I'm a 2000s kid at heart. That, that, that can't, I, I can't even rate that childhood because that was the perfect time to be a kid, in my opinion. Growing up in the 2000s, if, if you were a kid or a teen in the 2000s, you were the first generation to experience being a kid on social media, but also just the social media effect. And we were like the last generation to experience, like just being outside all the time, just instead of just checking the phone, we just go outside and find out whoever's outside and things like that. That was just an amazing era to be a kid, honestly. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more, then I'm gonna end it. If you could change one bad habit of yours, what would it be? My bad habit I would change is my sleep schedule. I get like five, six hours of sleep. Like, that's not bad. Ooh. Excuse me. Like, that's not bad, but you know five to six hours of sleep every day when i could be at more it, it doesn't it doesn't do the body any good especially with me going to sleep like four or five in the morning not five but like three two to four in the morning within that time range that's when things start to get a little you know a little bad honestly but i have been going to sleep earlier I'm a little bit better just going to sleep early and and as well as waking up early uh, i feel a lot better i don't feel as tired but it's just you know i like staying up during crackhead hours what was your dream job as a kid? As a kid, I wanted to be a wrestler. I wanted to wrestle in the WWE. I wanted to be the next Rey Mysterio. Put it like that. Like I was a huge Rey Mysterio fan. So, you know, I wanted to be the next Rey Mysterio. I had the mask and everything. Then I just grew out of it, of course. And then I wanted art to be my dream job even while I was in elementary. So, you know, if I could become a wrestler now, hey, I'm not knocking it now. Hey, hey, Vince. Well, not Vince, but in this case, is it Vince or Triple H? Whoever's in charge of WWE at the moment before they sell it, hey, hit your boy up. Hey, train me. Here's some of your favorite YouTubers. Some of my favorite YouTubers, off the rip, Corey Kenshin is my number one YouTuber. But other YouTubers that I watch other than Corey Kenshin, it's Real 85, Paolo from Tokyo. I'm trying to think of some other people off the top of my head. Uh, Trigger Troll, but he hasn't posted in like forever. I, I, I don't know if he quit YouTube or is on a huge break. I don't know if RDC World counts as YouTubers because I used to watch the Instagram videos from when Instagram was the actual camera as the logo. That's how far back I used to follow RDC World. But I don't really, you know, I don't really know anybody else off the top of my head. All right, and I'm gonna let this one be the last one. What is your favorite Netflix show? Okay, that's a good one to end it off of. At least I feel it's good to end it off of. My favorite TV shows are The End of the Effing World, Orange is the New Black, Stranger Things. Ooh, I can't wait for that next season. Squid Games, and I think, I think that's really it, honestly. Uh, it was also a show called Everything Sucks. That was a good show. I don't know why they canceled it. I wish they didn't cancel it, but... You know, you already know how Netflix is. A TV show gets good, and they're like, eh, eh, cut it, eh, cut it, cut it. So those are my favorite Netflix shows. And that's the end of this video. Uh, I might honestly do a part two, because some of those questions were kind of fun to answer. And I also passed by some that was like uh, deep questions and things like that. Deep questions to ask for your YouTube channel. So I might just do those on another video one day. Go ahead and leave a like under this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If y'all also have some things y'all want to ask me that I haven't answered on here on this video, just go ahead and hit me up in the comments and I'll answer them. I will see y'all in the next one, God willing. Peace. What's up, y'all? I haven't been recording like all week because of my sinuses and everything. This video was supposed to be uploaded like Monday or Tuesday. Um, but I haven't gotten to it because fighting pollen right now. Just like I mentioned earlier in the video, I was not exaggerating about the pollen. So, it's just everything up here is just swollen, drowsy, runny nose, everything is just bad. I will see y'all in the next one, God willing. Peace. Sorry about the not uploading all week thing.